Hi, Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel. And today's video is all about working with as well as how to use a potentiometer. So let's get started now with the expansion of what we learned from last week's video that was all about the potentiometer. What are they and how to use them? Now, to make it more interesting for us, let's see how to build up from there. Let me bring you over to the Arduino setup where we have almost the same as last week for those who follow the series, not that we added a few components, but more on that later. Let me just describe the connection first. From the pin A0, we are connected into the middle leg of the potentiometer. The 5 volt as well as the ground are both connected to each outer legs of this potentiometer. Now, before describing the added features, let's make sure that we home the potentiometer back to zero, like so. Now to the new feature where we added an LED and let's see the connection starting from the Arduino connected into the pin 2. Here we have the green wire going into the anode of our LED, as you can see here. And from the cathode, we added a resistor that goes into the ground leg of the potentiometer, which in turn is plugged into the Arduino ground. Now we can update our sketch. So let's see that. Yes, this is where we stopped last week. I just added a few comments for those who just joined in. So feel free to pause here if you want to look at what the sketch is about. As for us, we will now need to add an integer. So let me get to the updated sketch here, where we need to add an integer, which is actually the LED here. All right, so we see we created the integer and we say it's attached to pin 2, which it is. We also need in the voice setup to set the pin mode, which will be an output. And finally, we need here, as you can see, to write the outcome to the LED. And we do that not by writing high, but with the value which is in the out. So let's start the serial monitor and verify that the potentiometer is at zero and not five volt, you know, depending on how it is wired. That's done. Now let's bring our build into the shot it will be easier for us to have all the window together. So I will turn on the potentiometer slowly for us to see when the lid lights up here. Okay, like so. As you can see, it's going up and up. The LED is on. Let's go back a little bit and try to find out. There, we are about 0.64 to 0.65 volt. Now we can go all the way up to 5 volt. You can see that the light do not change. And there it is. And this because we have the resistor. Now that we understand how it works, why don't we turn this off and add two more LEDs? For doing so, I do need to bring a bigger breadboard. So let's remove this and bring in a larger one. There, yes, we save some time by building the circuit in advance. But let me know in the comment down below if you prefer me to do it in front of the camera or not. Let me explain what we have here. The three LEDs are matched to their respective wire colors. It will make it easier for us to follow as I plug them in into the Arduino. We start with a red wire into pin 2. Then we attach the yellow LED to pin 4. And lastly, we have the green wire into the pin 6. Not here that we hooked up the cathode to the ground through the resistor, but not for the red LED where we simply use a wire as it will be too dim otherwise. You will see that later. Finishing the connection to this side now, with the ground here, we have two wires. One will be into the potentiometer and the other into the Arduino, like so. We can now add the red wire with a 5 volt and ending the connection with a yellow wire from the pin A0 to the middle leg here, last pin available. So now that the connection is done, let's go to the sketch because we have to modify that. And you know what? I will take the opportunity to make it look better as well. As you can see, this is what we have here. We don't really know what's happening. So let's do that. I'll move this. And here, let me move this to the side, like so. You can see that what I changed already is that I rename the previous LED pin who was attached to the pin 2 to the red LED. Then I added the yellow LED and the green LED. For the rest, we remain the same in here. For the void setup though, I just changed a few more things. As you can see, I use the newly named pin here and I set them as output, as they should be. We still retain the red pin as an input and we still open the serial monitor. Now, if you notice here, we change a little bit. We had to, of course, add those. Now you will say, but wait, because before we just had in here the LED pin and just the out. But why you divide by five? 
And this, basically, it's to adjust the way the LED lights up. I don't want them to light up all at the same time. That's why I had some dividers here. If we want to see what's happening, here it is. We had zero. And now we can turn off the light, yes. And now I can slowly light it up. So you can see when we will reach one point something like we are now. Soon there. Okay. Oh, uh, let me go back a little bit. You will see. There it is. Okay. So 1.92. Yes. 1.9 something. Then the yellow LED lights up. Now if I push up a little bit higher, there we are. As you can see, the red LED is not as bright, although there is no resistor to it. And that's why I use the wire here. Otherwise, it will be even dimmer than that. No need. Let's see where this one lights up. We are at 2. So basically at 3, it starts to light up. There it is. And if I put it all the way, you can see there is no much difference. We can go back the other way, and there we are. Now, how can we make this better? I will just copy and paste. It will be faster. Like this, I just have to explain a few things. Basically, what I will change, it is just the whole void loop. Yeah, like so. And we can read what's happening. So what we change, it's compared to this one here, where I have only the number, all right? What I had here, it's the out is, and then I get the V out print out, and V2 is, I got V2 printed, and I had that V2. It's the voltage. Send this to the Arduino. You will notice that the serial monitor, it's open, but when you send it, let me bring back the serial monitor, you can see that it grays out. And the reason why it sometimes, uh, it says error opening, but you can see that it is working now. Basically, this is because I had the serial monitor open. If I try again one more time, you can see there is no warning messages. And now I can have the voltage. This looks a little bit better, and this is what I wanted. But what if we want the interval to be more accurate, you may ask. What shall we do? You see, we do have the solution for that problem, using the if statement and functions. And that we will learn next week. Otherwise, this video will be too long. That is it for today. Please leave a comment down below. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your youtube things, like, if you want to, subscribe you may as well or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time i post a new video however if you do not like this video simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so i will try to improve for you guys stay safe and bye now